There is no better motivation than someone telling you it can't be done, that you're wasting time, you're wasting money. Well, this is my time, my money. If it's something you love, it's not a waste. You do you, I'll do me. Welcome back to the channel. This is Mike with Doomsday 410. Just a couple of updates today. Uh, I'm gonna make, be making a suspension change. Currently, I've got the Steeda subframe brace underneath the car. I'm getting ready to take this off. Uh, I actually just sold it. Uh, I'm gonna be making a, a change to address some wheel hop issues I've been having. Um, the new issue I have, I went out to the eighth mile about two weeks ago, uh, was shifting in the second gear. The car was wheel hopping violently and it lasted the entirety of second gear until I shifted in the third. A lot of my footage from that night was corrupt. I was able to salvage a rear, uh, rear piece of footage to kind of show that to you. So I'll show it to you real quick. All right, and you could just see how bad the car was bouncing there. It was really costing me uh, in, in my times getting down the track. Uh, so I'm actually gonna be uh, switching or adding a BMR cradle lockout and it's not compatible with this. This one of these connections is actually in the way of something the BMR cradle lockout needs to attach to. So I'm selling these, um, gonna have the BMR cradle lockout. I'm hoping on the car in time for this season going to be cutting it close to get it to the house and get it installed before the end of the season. Worst case scenario, I'll have it on the car in the off season and I'll have it all set for March when the track, uh, track opens back up, but we're getting ready to take this sucker off real quick. It's actually very easy to, uh, install and un uninstall and Steeda sends out some great instructions as well. Uh, basically what I need is a 13 millimeter socket, uh, 15 millimeter socket, 20 millimeter socket, uh, 10 millimeter Allen wrench and 18 millimeter wrench. Uh, it's just three bolts on each side. I don't know how well you can see that, uh, but go ahead and pop those off real quick. Uh, you can see I already got the car jacked up, ready to go. So we're gonna we're gonna hop under there, get this sucker's pulled off real quick, drop the car back down, uh, get it boxed up so I can get it shipped off to the guy through UPS tomorrow. And then a uh, quick update for you guys. Uh, this this Saturday, uh, next Saturday coming up, I will be out at Beach Bend, quarter mile in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'm uh, gonna meet up with a bunch of other YouTubes, YouTubers, uh, Determined Veteran, Speed Addict 731, uh, Xander 13 will be out there. Uh, I think that's it, might be more people, but if you're anywhere close, man, uh, go ahead and come out and check it out and uh, get a chance to meet you face to face. I won't have my cradle lockout in for next weekend, so I'm anticipating that second gear is still going to be a bitch. So it's going to be more about uh, having some fun that day, going out and um, meeting up with these guys. I'm still going to run the car. Uh, I'm not expecting hero times with the with how bad that wheel hop is, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's always fun to run, um, but let's go ahead and get this sucker pulled off. One other quick update for you guys. Um, if you watch some of my past videos, you know I pulled the catalytic converters off the car. Um, it sounded horrible. I added a couple Jones resonators up front of the car, um, just in front of the, the X pipe on the engine half of the car. Uh, it helped a little bit, but not enough. I'm still not happy with how the car sounds. So I picked up an additional, uh, these are 14 inch resonators off of eBay, uh, per Marty and, and Brent's advice. So. Uh, I should have these on the car this week and fingers crossed the car will sound decent, hopefully good once those are on um, and address that just horrible rasp I've still got going on. I can't wait because I can't stand the way the car sounds right now. Wanted to give you that quick update too. Uh, I'll document that as well and let you guys hear a little before and after once these are welded on the car. Uh, but going to go ahead and hop under the car now get these Steeda subframe braces removed. A little this, but I will show you real quick how easy it is. We got the two Allen bolts right here. Steeda setup is pretty good, man. It uses all factory holes. So two Allen uh, bolts here. There is a third bolt, uh, second bolt right there. If I can get the camera to focus, focus camera right there. 
and then there are two over there. So I'm gonna pop those two out, this one out, and these two Allen bolts out, and this sucker will pop right off. Uh, then I'll do the other side and we'll be all set. And just in case you guys are wondering if I can get an angle this. Um, just there, right past the X pipe is where those resonators gonna go. Basically in this section right here, I'm shining the light on. Uh, so I'll have those two in there right past the, the X pipe. Um, you can kind of see up front there, I've got my two Jones resonators. Um, but I'm gonna add these two. Hopefully it's gonna tone it down a little bit. Um, anything better than what it sounds now is good. So that's the, that's the goal. And then um, next up after that will be the BMR Cradle Lockout. Can't wait. I've done a ton of research on it and it sounds like it's really gonna help me out with the wheel hop. All right, so I'm gonna get cracking on this. All right guys, all set. Uh, got them pulled off. Get ready to package them up. Sent them off to the new owner, along with all the hardware and instructions. I uh, hope he enjoys them. Uh, just a reminder, guys, like I said, I'll be out at uh, Beach Bend this Saturday to run a quarter mile with some other YouTubers. If you can make it out, great. I'd love to meet some of you guys. Uh, and guys, if you haven't checked out any of my live streams yet, uh, please check them out. Give me some feedback. Uh, maybe there's a particular day of the week or a particular time of the week that... Uh, you think would be better or best. Um, I'm open to all suggestions, uh, but this was just a quick update. Uh, once I get to BMR Cradle Lockout, I'll probably do a uh, short install video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a full how-to on that or just kind of go over the basics with you guys. Um, but right now it's just fingers crossed that I get them before the season's over. If not, so be it. Uh, just gives me the off season to uh, make a few more tweaks to the car in preparation for March when they open back up again. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell, share with your friends. Uh, appreciate all the support. See you next time.